Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, Long War of the Chosen 2. And whilst uh, my crew members uh, discuss about the pros and cons of Advent and their new facilities, we are almost uh, ready for a next uh, mission. Uh, this is the legendary Iron Man run of um, the Long War of the Chosen 2, better one uh, mod, and we are up for some smash and grab. The only problem here is it's an uninfiltrated mission and we are not going in with uh, with any form of a good team. Essentially got a couple of uh, rookies with us. So it's going to be a pretty bumpy road. And out of 12 um, um, boxes, I might say that we're probably ending up with anywhere between 4 to 6. Let's see what I can do and if I can make my magic work. Let's go, boys, let's go. Okay, and we are back in business. Let's see. Earlier I had a few issues with the, co uh, with the recording. Let's hope uh, this turns out to be much better now. Game itself is running smooth. Um, so we're looking at uh, this over here. And it's a far, far way from where we start. And my initial instincts tell me, got to be very careful with uh, how we're approaching. Keep in mind, we're not hidden. So as soon as we see the first um, enemy, it's essentially game on. From this point onwards, we would have, like, what? A few turns, and then we need to give it, uh, give it a go. So really no need to rush. The only reason why I'm double moving is uh, there is enough vision cover for us to not be spotted out. And notice how I'm not going to go for the corners here. Essentially preventing uh, being spotted out. Um, this run will need to be carried by our gunner and by our technician, the only two more experienced units uh, that we do have. So, let's take a look what the aliens are up to. We do not hear any sound indicators, basically uh, saying that um, there is no alien near our position. This house here could be an excellent uh, place for our snipers, but also an excellent uh, vision blockade. Um, so let's shortly advance very carefully. Like I said, we, we're not in a hurry. Since we don't have a time limit, might as well overwatch crawl for now. Got it. Moving. Okay, break time takes a careful, very careful move over to here. You know what? Anchor down and reload. Again, so far nothing to be concerned about. Uh, damn. It's always the drone. They are patrolling just too freaking far out of range. Well, the positive part about that is we got some loot and essentially we killed one out of 12. So it's not the worst problem on the other side is we're now on a timer we got a soft timer of six rounds until all of this here will go in a very very negative way this is 
starting our evac as you know good practice Let's get our snipers up. Notice how I only move one of them, so we could have eight protocol in case something goes wrong. Okay, we know that he is safe. Might as well move his comrade to here. Not the best sniping position, I get it, but it's better than nothing. And I'm not penetrating the invisible kind of line that I've dr uh, drawn at the beginning. This way, you make sure that you are um, that you are not triggering yet another pack, right? So we still got one Overwatch. Advent already start marking the crates. One of them is well in our reach, and we could get it. The other one. Is gone. Our self imposed target of four to six just got a little bit more difficult, I fear. We might end up with a few less. Rec time. It's going to be the first one moving in. Got something good here. Gets a laser sight. I wouldn't necessarily call that something good. It's okay. And look at that. We got our first, um, our first enemy, other than the drone, plus our first uh, uh, our first crate. Thanks to AP rounds and uh, plasma uh, and our laser weapon, that worked out quite well. We've seen that there is uh, an advent captain here through the fog of war. Got to be careful; we don't want to poke the bear. I am positioning ourselves over here, though. That way we would have better shooting angles if the tree is in the way. We're completely in the open, so you've got to be very, very careful if you leave your operatives uh, exposed like that. This here is good vision blockade. We, we don't want to uh, penetrate that yet. And instead what we want to do is we're moving aggressively in two positions where we know that we're not going to trigger something. The worst thing that could happen uh, to us right now would be essentially triggering another pack whilst we're in transition. That's, that shouldn't happen. I am going to reload and whenever possible take an overwatch and end the turn. So. It's an advent captain plus a trooper there, at least two. So far we killed two, and we're looking at what? Uh, probably overall 12 enemies, so that's two further here. So we know about four out of 12. They seem to not move yet. Still standing there. The reason that he could immediately take an action tells me that they are on yellow alert. Firebrand is on deck for recovery. Keep marking those crates, Menace One Five. Let's deal with the drone. Don't want to be caught up here. It's down. Okay. Over 
We're focusing completely on the left hand side. The disadvantages we're not going to get most of the crates on the other side. The advantages, uh, there's still one, two, three, maybe a fourth crate here. And that's just what we get. Sometimes you can't have it all. It's another one over here, but that would be a pretty aggressive move. And like I said, we're, we got to take priorities here. might trigger a pack from the right. I, I want to make sure that we're not, but it can happen. It's a, it's a, thin, li uh, a thin line because at the end you want to not trigger another pack, right? But at the same time, you can't just only move in from high cover to high cover and not leave a flank open. It's just impossible to get crates that way. Ready to go. It's killing time. Overwatch. Overwatch. And most certainly Overwatch. All right, crates are being marked for recovery one of which we can get, maybe, one of which we can probably not get. You know, we could get there. But it, it is dangerous. And it would be pretty greedy as well. I am anticipating that we're triggering something there. So I'll just go with fortify. Yep, we triggered something. Pretty beefy pack. Okay, what we're going to do here... I mean, we only got 50% chances anyways. I don't like these odds, so... What we're doing is, we're handing over a teamwork and although our rocket launcher certainly is not the most accurate one. I still think that we can blow uh, blow away a big portion of the cover. Yeah, and yeah, could have been better. Let's put it that way. We pull just another pack. Okay, we just officially fucked up. That's why I wanted to be careful. Time for some rapid deployment and pro probably move uh, moving back. Good, that's two of them disoriented.
We could go and hit this guy. It's just a very low chance that we're going to kill him. Could kill the sector. You know what? Let's do that. Here we go. Cross the entire map. Of course, we can use uh, the loot. <laughs> so this here would get us into a somewhat solid position, unfortunately one that's flankable from, from the Muton. Going back into full cover, I don't like being exposed. And apparently we can't uh, haywire anymore. Gotta take the risk here and prevent the, um, the mutant from actually from actually engaging on us. Hit the armor. Moving back so that we only have one front line and let's make that one front line very inattractive Rick uh, Rectide already had his um, had his uh, fortify buff up this here is now to gain further defenses That is into full cover. That's a problem, we gotta deal with it immediately. Rockets. Yep, that's the beauty. Okay, we're definitely in a Pretty tight situation here. He's in my... I can't... Can't stop him. Don't know if we're if this is going to be close enough to to actually hit it with a flashbang grenade. We do not have a flashbang here. Let's 
going to be close, barely on the edge of the flashbang, if anything. There we go. Perfect. That was important. So that's a high percent chance uh, to actually kill the Advent Officer. We can immediately kill the mech. What's with the mutant? Why can't we see the mutant? Ooh, 42% is what you're telling me. Because he's in cover. Okay. Okay. Well, we gotta take the, uh, the mech out. Fire is uh, fire is a definite possibility here. So you got two more turns. So that flank here looks somewhat acceptable. That flank here looks like utter shit. I'm going. Gotta go and kill the mutant next. It's definitely the next highest priority target. Light him up. Good job. Well done. Nice little flank here. So can we move even further? I like the full cover here with the stone. We only have three hit points, but then again, where are we going to go? Half cover here? Mm. Don't want to destroy the crate. Mutant is a tough mother. F What's the best play here? This guy still can take shots and will probably take shots. So let's position ourselves in full cover. And it's time to teach him a lesson. Well, sucks that the loot was destroyed. We've probably used that quite well. We soon need to re uh, to evac the situation. Got ourselves in uh, in this massive firefight. We got ourselves in this massive firefight, like, without even needing to, right? Could have just snuck by and, and just let it be. But no, we gotta uh, get a big fat firefight going. Who's burning? Apologies. Who is burning? Oh, you're telling me that he's burning now. Okay. Well.
You cannot do a lot of actions when you're burning. I'm not sure if you can recover crates. Let's first of all see what the snipers can do and we really got to evac here. You know what? Sometimes knowing when to retreat is also an advantage. That's the uh, that's the retreating uh, zone. Let's put ourselves into decent cover. You know we'll. We'll get at least some crates. I said four to six. Of course. Okay, moving to here. I still thought we might be able to get um, one of uh, the crates there, but the reality is we can't. Moving here, that gives us good cover and it exposes us only to him. I don't mind, even if he shoots us, we do have plenty of uh, armor. Not the best mission. It all went okay, a bit suboptimal, but okay. As long as we are, uh, as long as we were not running into two extra packs. But I, I said it at the beginning. You could play it very, very safe. But probably th uh, the reality of that is, you would have most likely ended up with not being able to get any loot crate, maybe one. It's not worth getting your soldiers killed and I knew pretty well what I was doing and when to retreat. There's another pack. Yeah, see, maximum damage, even if we would have crit, we would, we would have been fine. It is definitely time to go. Yeah, we couldn't get the loot. Too bad. Whatever you say. I've got eyes on an asset position. Well, I wasn't particularly impressed during this run. Impressed would be the wrong word. Target location. 
All right, time to motor. Not even that. We're going to have a few severely injured uh, soldiers out of that uh, out of that engagement. So wound recovery times, I would be expecting pretty much in uh, the 10 to 20, uh, 20 days range. And it's questionable how much loot we would have uh, we got out of that, maybe 20 supplies. Yeah. So, 7, 8 and 18 days. That was rough. At least some of our squad has got a promotion. Well, 22 supplies, at least a few alien alloys, a pretty decent uh, PCS. Which is probably something for a really slow person. Yes, agility, I would much rather give him mobility. I was always pissed off by his low speed. Oh, and now that the snipers are out of the mission, now that everyone's out of the mission, let me shortly go through, because I know we still had a few PCSs to, uh, to uh, spare, and we got three rookies. Okay, so PCS number one was for him, depth perception. The other one, shorter heal times as well as immunity, is definitely something that some of the grenadiers, for instance, could use. Eh, I think the ones that could use it the most are the frontliners or the rangers. I mean, it becomes obsolete a little bit later once we have Hazmas a vest, but until that, might be not a bad idea. Shinobi can also use it. Okay, so in terms of priorities, next things that are on our mind, we got a. Uh, first of all, we have uh, a high amount of wounded uh, people. So infirmary is maybe also something to consider. We got a scan for new missions. That is our highest priority. And I think we already uh, changed everything to, uh, to that higher mission, uh, to that higher scanning. Looking at the three regions, we have 11 vigilance here. That is incredibly high. We had a super low vigilance in South Africa, which means we should have an easy time um, fighting them there. But there is a, uh, every region has already a, some advanced strength in there, which means our baseline will be just a bit higher. We're going to the Templar HQ. I am convinced we're going to find missions regardless of the Avenger scanning because we have enough um, rookies. Nice. And now uh, losses can occur on any mission. That makes it so much easier.
Well, that's a cool mission and I like it. Problem is three days and three hours. Let's take a look if if we if we can actually do that. I'll give it a try and uh, see if I can feel the team to do it. So since it's a de uh, destroy the alien relay mission, we might be able to sneak this one through. I've taken only items and uh, people that are expendable. Uh, we could get 20 intel plus an intel package, uh, which is an okay reward. I'm just not sure. I will put them on infiltration, but mind you, I might change my mind and bail out on them. Currently it's fine, but if we need them on a different mission, then we're not going to do that. It is entirely possible to stealth run something, but A, I don't like the mechanic all too much, and B, it is very random. Well, they just made a major breakthrough, that's one of the worst things that could happen. The Avatar program makes progress. I'm expecting further missions to pop up, to be honest, because we're scanning like madmen. How are the soldiers looking like? Still several wounded. So yeah, it, might, it makes sense to continue uh, what I'm doing. We should get a few missions that pop up now. I mean, seriously, we're having a huge focus on uh, research at the uh, on um, on Intel at the moment. With radio links available, with radio links available, we might want to turn our attention slowly but surely to a few other things. The autopsies are okay, but magnetic weapons really are important. So let's do another trooper corpse that could get us up to magnetic weapons. I had you'd make At least that we can research them. Staying nicely ahead of the curve. Yeah, still very good timing here. Another smash and grab operations. Hopefully, this time we're getting our things straight. Lost activity. Okay, uh, let me fill the SWAT, uh, SWAT real quick. Okay, so here we are. Uh, got a nice team of five. <laughs> Got a nice team of five, excuse me, um, who uh, will be infiltrating this. I think that's going to be fine. I'm not 100% sure how many crates we're going to get, but it's going to be an okay mission. At least it's going to yield experience. One part of uh, doing missions, besides, of course, the obvious reward behind it, is also to gain loot and experience. And the loot in some of the cases, like, uh, let's take the uh, smash and grab missions. Um, uh, say, if you were to find two Alarium cores in, in one single enemy um, corpse, that might make up for more uh, supplies than the entire smash and grab run. Another mission right here, five days, about okay, resistance personnel. 
Yep, yep, we want to have that, exactly that. Lots of resistance personnel, another rookie. Four resistance personnel, two rookies. Okay, great. I think we're reaching the point where again our our team might be a little bit thin let me see how many soldiers we got left over okay here we go i needed to spec down on a lot of the equipment and some of the choices might be a little bit extreme but uh, we at least have a high mobility i wanted to get in five uh, people because i'm uh, i'm convinced that a fifth person is better than four well-equipped um, uh, resistance operators so on those uh, who should be hit, uh, the Shinobi and uh, the Sniper, I got. I went even light on the armor uh, piece. It is what it is, but we really hit 100% uh, and that means only a maximum of 12 enemies anyways. Uh, we, we are looking at resistance personnel, 1, 2, 3, 4, plus 2 rookies. It's a good mission. We should, uh, we should hopefully uh, do that and be successful with it. Lots and lots of uh, lots and lots of rookies, and the resistance personnel will help us to build up the region quite a bit as well. So I know we recruited a lot here in the past, but four additional um, resistance personnel will bring us up to um, all the way up to thirteen, almost eleven. So that'll be good. Okay, so that's Operation Hidden Mask. Destroy the alien relay and find the lead. A lot of it is really random. I don't mind uh, losing the Reaper all too much. Um, we could get El, um, Elenova back, Eltrana uh, Dragonova back um, on a higher uh, rank even as a, as a mission. So that is not my main concern i'm more concerned about the randomness of it it could go really really well and could uh, go really really bad um, if we were to boost it we would um, put in 30 intel to gain 20 intel and an intel package which sort of does not make a lot of sense so it's either run it with two people or don't run it at all um, I don't know. I guess I could give it a try, uh, just to show how these missions uh, are supposed to be run. But mind you, um, might as well get our asses kicked and lose uh, the entire squad. Uh, we do have only a Trotter here and a Lance Corporal Sharpshooter. And both of them essentially there's a pretty solid chance that they are not going to make it mm. the thing that i'm really concerned about is the six turns evac portion which if if we fail it will take a long time to get out of there anyways this is something for the next time thanks so much for watching and uh, see you very soon if you like the content uh, please leave a comment down below and uh, consider a thumbs up. Thank you and have a great day. Bye-bye.